Miloko Vucilic was, uh, was the uh, chief engineer and a brilliant uh, gentleman and a scholar. Uh, he was uh, NASA's equivalent of the Apollo Space Launch Director for North American Aviation. And we were the original contractor on the project. We later became North American Rockwell uh, when Rockwell teamed with North American Aviation. Miloko Vucilic was uh, heavily involved uh, in the prog program from, uh, from the onset. Mike came to North American Aviation from, uh, uh, from the uh, Bendix Aviation, uh, also worked uh, when he first uh, migrated to the United States. He's with Cessna Aviation where he actually developed several systems for Cessna. But more importantly, uh, his timing to come to the space program was incredible because he had a brilliant mind and uh, was very, very instrumental in the success of the project. When Apollo 13 made reference to Houston, we have a problem. Uh, Mike was the first person they called because uh, they were all aware that he was well, uh, uh, very much uh, involved in the various equations that made reference to the environmental control systems pretty much uh, talk the astronauts down, making them aware, you know, find a piece of cardboard there and, you know, and uh, uh, salvage as much oxygen as you possibly can upon re-entry. And uh, he did an outstanding job. And uh, as a result, uh, he was uh, uh, awarded the Medal of Freedom from President Nixon. And of course, we're all proud of Mike uh, for that accomplishment. I went to work uh, for the gentleman who was actually designed uh, the Apollo spacecraft, the, uh, uh, the service module, command module. His name was Harrison Storms. Uh, Mr. Storms was uh, a, a brilliant aerodynamicist, and uh, he was also the protege of Theodore von Karman, uh, who was considered one of the foremost at Jet, Jet Propulsion Laboratories. Uh, Harrison Storms uh, was overwhelmed to have Miloiko Vucilic on the Apollo team. As a matter of fact, uh, we used to call him affectionately Stormy. When Stormy became irritated because uh, programs were not materializing as uh, he hoped they would, he would start swearing in Serbian because he learned it from Mike Vucilic. So we had a we had made our mark within the highest levels of our organization on the Apollo program.